Hello, I'm Randy Brunette with Spatial Business Systems Incorporated. I am using the Substation Design Suite Protection and Control Toolkit, and today I'm going to introduce the reporting features available in the software. The reporting tools in AutoCAD Electrical and the SDS Toolkit are very flexible and powerful. If data has been added to the drawing, it can be extracted into a report. There are two main classes of reports, schematic and panel or wiring diagram. Each class extracts data only from that style of drawings, preventing duplicate entries as components are inserted into each corresponding style. While there is some duplication in report types for both schematic and panel, like bill of material reports, the schematic reports lean more to wire, cable, and connections, and the panel reports lean to physical insertions, such as components, wire duct, and mounting hardware. Let's start with a panel bill of material report. Notice all the options available for filtering where the report data is extracted from. The first choice is project or active drawing options. Project means you can select from any or all drawings in the project. Active drawing will extract data from only the currently open drawing. You can also apply additional filters for specific installation and location codes. These are especially helpful in larger projects. Finally, there are options for how the data should be displayed and selecting preset format options. The Report Generator dialog box is a what you see is what you get display. The display will be replicated in any output format you select, whether it is placed on the drawing as a table, saved to an external file such as Excel, or printed. There are options for adding additional description fields to the report, and especially important is the Change Report Format tool. Selecting this tool enables you to change how the report data is displayed. You can add, remove, reorder, and rename the displayed columns. The report generator will remember the last settings used, or if multiple formats are required, you can save the current settings as presets for future reports. There are several output types available for the report data. Direct to printer, output to a file in any of five different formats, or insertion into the drawing as an AutoCAD table entity. Output file types include ASCII, Excel, Access, XML, and CSV. After creating the external file, there is also an option to execute a custom script routine to process the output. For example, you can create a routine to import the file into your requisition software or email the file to the purchasing department. The table output can be split into multiple sections and can be spread across multiple drawings if needed. For the next report, I'll create one of the most amazing and powerful reports the schematic wire from to report. Notice how I'm using the project option to select a subfolder of DC schematics. Next we can choose the location codes we want to use to filter the connection data. In this case we are creating a list of all wires that are attached at one end in location CP slash CB4 and at the other end in location P201. The report shows very detailed information about each wire and its connections. This includes the wire layer that the wire is on, by the way this can also be used to define the wire type, the wire number or wire label, and the component and pin number for each section of the wire. The data used to create this report is used in many ways with the SDS toolkit, including the automatic annotation of wiring diagrams. As I've shown, the reporting tools are very configurable and easy to customize. If there is data in the drawings, it can be extracted into reports.